My name is Sophia, and I've been attending Middle for about two and a half years now. My journey with Middle Church began while I was living in Salt Lake City in 2021. As a recent college graduate, I left an early dance career in Minneapolis as the arts collapsed at the start of the pandemic. I was fortunate to find a job as a volunteer coordinator at a nonprofit organization. We focused on reentry for formerly incarcerated people, uh, mostly through employment and um, finding supportive community. We often referred to this position as creating a middle space, a meeting ground for people who otherwise would not encounter one another in the community. So how serendipitous to then discover Middle Church, a community that echoed our values around belonging, inclusion, and compassion. Mm -hmm. On my way to and from work, I would listen to podcasts from Reverend Jackie Lewis as she interviewed artists, activists, and faith leaders, and they nourished me during a difficult time. As the dance scene began to open up again, I moved to New York City and first attended Middle Church at the temporary home of Calvary Episcopal. On my first Sunday there, the congregation observed the anniversary of the fire by walking to the ruins of the sanctuary on 2nd Avenue. While I was acutely aware that I had not been present to the trauma of losing the building in 2020, I still felt a connection to people as we walked together. I could sense that this was a community who knew how to hold grief and gratitude, uncertainty and hope together in their bones. As some of you might remember that day, our walk that morning was punctuated with a rainbow that appeared in the sky. <laughs> and it was not a rainy day. The image of this community of lovers gathering around wreckage with a rainbow overhead is one that I'll never forget. It encapsulates middle for me, a community that is not afraid to confront painful realities, but also committed to a joy and beauty that alleviate despair. In the past two and a half years, middle has sustained my soul through what can often be the turbulence of living as a young dancer in the city. I developed friendships by joining the young adult group, singing with the gospel choir, and volunteering at Judson with New York's newest neighbors. Pray to rise on Wednesday mornings and Sunday worship services have become grounding rituals for me. Middle Church keeps me engaged in the issues that matter most in our current world, and they always center humanity and love. When I wake up to news about atrocities and injustices, the first place I turn now is to our spiritual leaders here at Middle. They offer words of solace and call us to action and provide the resources I need to feel engaged. On a more personal note, one Sunday I found myself seated next to a student from Union Seminary. We spoke after the service and he and I planned to get coffee in the East Village later that week. This man in the pews has now become a loving and wonderful partner completely changed my life. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> He's offered so much healing to my heart. Middle has been a fertile ground of love in my life in so many ways. So whether you live across the street, like I do now, or many miles away, like I did when I first started to engage with Middle, you can take part in a movement for love, justice, and healing. You can visit middlechurch.org join to become a member or offer financial gifts at middlechurch.org donate. Something that I love about Middle is that we honor the particularities of each person's identity. So while your story with Middle will be different from mine, I truly hope it can contain some of the same seeds of healing, joy, and growth that I've experienced while here. Thank you, Middle. Mm -hmm.